Hi guys, Deshi here. Welcome back to another video. So I will be asking, I'll be asking, I'll be answering, I'll be answering a few questions that you guys um just wait does it here that you guys asked me on my Instagram. Y'all had a lot of questions to ask, especially there by the relationship department. <laughs> um yeah i'll be answering a few of those so i hope you have your cup of something today i am having water <laughs> i'm going to drink my water because i have a lot of business to mind i hope you have something on there or juice and the pirata on because my darling it's also okay let's get into the video Ding. <laughs> i'm probably gonna insert it somewhere so you guys see um okay so first one is i cannot get over the other video you went to cry when you reached home oh my gosh guys <laughs> i'm big now okay she's talking about the i caught my boyfriend cheating video we are past that we are not crying with this anymore we are big girls <laughs> we're big, <laughs> we big girls now we don't cry we don't cry over boys we do not do that anymore. We do not do that, girl. If you catch him cheating, run away. This one is very popular, guys. I think I have like maybe three of this or three or four of these of this question. Are you still single? Now, first of all, I feel like this person is asking me a very disrespectful question because y'all know I'm in a full blown relationship with two men, Tati Mholike and Tati TJ. So I don't understand. I don't understand why my males are not being respected. I'm in a full blown relationship with my titties. <laughs> a Bible verse that keeps you going. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so quick something. Um, I'm very spiritual, right? I'm very spiritual. I believe that there's a God. Uh, I don't read my Bible much. I, right now, as I'm talking, I, if you give me my Bible now to search for a, a book, I will. It will probably take me a good, a good few minutes to locate a book. So, um, oh my gosh, there's one by Matthew. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, I'll be paraphrasing. I'll get it and I'll insert it. It has something to do with um, not worrying about tomorrow because the birds of the sky don't worry about something like that. I love that verse because it speaks a lot onto His grace on us literally guys like especially just especially me i feel like a lot of things that happen in my life are because of his grace and i always wake up not knowing how tomorrow is gonna be but he has always got me like it's just amazing how he knows kucha you have to eat i'm gonna sit i'm gonna sort it out i'm gonna sort it out because you gotta eat <laughs> so um yeah no that definitely that bible so i'll get it so you guys see what i'm talking about okay. not an ask your content is so relatable. <laughs> I try to be myself on camera. Uh, this is basically me on and off camera, guys. Like, there is no... Mm, this is really me. So I'm really glad you guys are enjoying my content like this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Story time with Omuhole story. Muhole story. Why do you want to know what happened to what happened to what happens? Why do you want to know? But I'm joking. I, I did. I actually did record it. As I'm recording this video, I did record the part two of what you guys are asking me. Um, it's just, I, I'm not sure if it's going to be out before this one or this one's going to be out before that one. Because I don't know. I don't know. But I did record it. So stop harassing me. Ah, <laughs> Are you single? How much do you charge for makeup training? I'd like to learn. Okay, so I have different packages for my makeup training. Um, I have like a one day training, which I've actually increased my prices because I feel like I am good at my art and it's my time and I'm teaching you a lifelong thing. So please come and book in then something is key. Um, yeah, 2000 for two days, 3000. So you keep adding a thousand as you go up. However, it does come with a kit, 
but i feel like you guys always assume it's like a kid it's not a kid it's like it's like a little startup kit thing but dm envy and she'll tell you all the details honey she'll tell you all that but this is the sh please please but yeah i do i do i do charge those prices so yeah if you're interested you could always call your gal <laughs> You're a really good storyteller. When are you posting part two of your cheating boyfriend? First of all, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I've been hearing this a lot, guys. I've actually been hearing this a lot. Um, a lot of like people that have watched that story time are always like, yeah, I do more story times because like that. But I have I don't have any more things to talk about. So I don't know what you guys want me to talk about. <laughs> like my life isn't as interesting as I make it seem, guys. These are just like things that I went through, but like, yeah, like there isn't, there isn't much interesting happening, things happening in my life. What is the one thing you regret? <sighs> okay. If I'm honest with you guys, nah, I don't think I can be here and name, I can name a lot. There are a lot of things that I wish I could have done better knowing what I know now. But I don't think, I feel like every, our lives are planned out. God has planned out our lives. It's everything that has happened in our lives is supposed to happen the way it happened when it happened. So if I'm to be here and say, oh, I regret, you know, doing that, I regret doing that, then I wouldn't have learned the lessons that I learned because I went through what I went through. So I don't know if I have like something that I truly regret. No, not anything I can think of at least. Do you only do makeup? If yes, how did you buy your car? <laughs> my blesser bought me my car. Well, okay, shop. So, um, yeah, I only do makeup. I only do makeup. Uh, it's a choice that I made. I did study. I am a qualified archivist. <laughs> I did study, did my years, finished, graduated in my room because I graduated around COVID. Um, the trick about um the choice i made was guys ne? don't taste money before you start your career because it will challenge you though so i think i i got i i tasted money early tasted money early so like i don't know, i was just like should i really settle for this amount when i can make it in like a week should i really like th these are the questions that were going in my head um every time i would like compare i wouldn't mind the job i don't know how i'd survive but if it comes then it comes if it doesn't come then i'm grateful that i have a talent that is actually ability to to buy my car um how did i buy my car i was trying to prove a point to my ex-boyfriend that's how i bought my car i literally i literally wanted to prove a point which listen yeah <laughs> listen yeah that's how i bought it um how many uh, things do you have so i feel like i've answered this question before i have two siblings on my dad's side and i have three siblings on my mom's side the siblings on my mom's side are the thieves that stole my complexion because my spirit is light-skinned but the execution is dark if you get it like my genetic is light eh? but yeah no yeah so i have three siblings on my mom's side I have two sisters and one little brother. And then on my dad's side, I have two sisters. Um, did you um, study makeup? No, I actually didn't study makeup. I did archives, which is like records and archives management, which is completely out of my personality. But that's what I studied. Um, not a question, but I would like to meet you in person one day. Biggest fan. Oh! me also i want to meet you also eh? i want to meet you also um oh funny thing is i met someone no i didn't meet well i've been meeting people and it's amazing guys please like if you ever see me please say hi i would love and appreciate that uh so i went to the bank this other day um i was wearing this outfit and uh a girl on my instagram dms me and she's like oh my gosh this was you i saw you in the bank but i, I was scared to say hi i was like oh my gosh you should have said hi I like I would never ignore you because she said I thought you would ignore me. I would, guys, I will never ignore you. You guys know how homeless I can get. Like, don't do when you see me looking like this, still greet me. I will greet you back. I will greet you back. 
<laughs> I love your energy so much. Please keep up with the consistency. Guys, isn't it? Okay, thank you so much for the compliment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I'm running out of content, guys. Like, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> well, there's plenty of things to do, but I don't like there are times I'm like, oh, will they even enjoy this? Is this even like good content? Should I even do this? So I don't know. Maybe give me suggestions or should I switch to the in, to the conversations with Envy? Which one should I do? Should I switch to that? Would you guys still watch that? Or should you should I continue with my vlogs that you guys clearly like for some odd reason? Um let me know, please, in the comments down below. Please, please. What motivated you to start doing makeup and start selling wigs? Um when I started makeup. And I actually like that you asked this because I never really shared it with you guys. So when I come from Rundu, right? Like I'm from Rundu. I grew up in Rundu. So when I came to Vendu for Varsity, I was impressed. The girls were pretty. Like they were, and I've always been a liker of things. I'll insert pictures on my from my Facebook so you guys see. I always, I was like that girl, but I just didn't know how to do my makeup. So I came here 2014 and I'm on campus and I'm like, ooh, I wanna look like that. So I watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to do my makeup, mastered the art, though I thought I did master the art at the time. Um, then I started doing my own makeup and this year, and then my friends would ask me to do their makeup and their friends would ask them to ask me. So I was like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should start charging. And that's how like i started charging people and like I, I literally used to do this thing in my room and at the time i 2014 i think i started the business 2015 because i remember i started it when i was in the hostel that's when i like started charging people so i'd like do it in, in my room and at the time i was driving like one of my ex-boyfriend's cars so i was mobile so i was able to like go to people's houses and do it like at their houses so yeah the hair thing i've always wanted to do i i think for the longest time i've wanted to sell hair i just didn't know how to go on about it until the one time i was having a conversation with my cousin and um i think i ordered hair from her supplier and i loved it and i was like okay maybe i could actually order my own stuff and sell tried it people loved it i was like Let's make this money <laughs> so that's how that's how i started i don't think anything really motivated me to do it but i always say poverty does not have a favorite my darling it will choose you and it will hold on to you and it will <laughs> yeah so i think my problems also made me um start doing that i really didn't think i was guys i'm not that child that grew up selling sweets or I didn't even know I was like a business person till I got into varsity. I swear to God, your problems and it will make you do things. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. Okay. Uh, can we have a house tour? Your living room is cute. No. You're not gonna have a house tour. You're not gonna have a room tour. You're not gonna have a car tour. You're not gonna have any tour. Cause, cause, what is your business? No, I'm going to guys. Let, let me at least keep some things private let me keep a few things private you know all my friends you know all my siblings that stuff you can know i feel like no guys get out of my space stop it well, are you bamboo or kabako so i get this question a lot guys i'm full Vambu, I'm Kwanyama Kwambi, guys. My mom is Kwanyama, my dad is Kwambi. I am these jeans. <laughs> but um, my Oshuambo isn't as good as my Rukwangali, so I speak a lot of Rukwangali because obviously I grew up there. And for some odd reason, my mom is also speaking to me in Rukwangali, so I love you. <laughs> so I really hope you guys liked that um let me know what else what else you want me to do sorry about that let me know what else you want me to record about and i will do that for you because you know your girl has got your own back sometimes sometimes i have your back sometimes i don't yeah um yeah i'll see you guys in another video Mwah.